Hey everyone, it's Erica Leon, Registered Dietitian and Certified Intuitive Eating Counselor. Happy New Year. I am looking forward to better days ahead. <sighs> Taking a deep breath. My mother just got access to getting a COVID shot tomorrow. We're really excited. We've been trying for um, quite a while. She's in the category where she's able to get one. So yay! So in that spirit, I want to talk to you about not dieting, undieting, and what that means particularly when you're someone who is midlife, menopausal, perimenopausal. Here we are surrounded by all the ads, the commercials, Jenny Craig, Noom. Noom is a biggie. <laughs> and they're going to promise you that if you just follow their plan and you go and do exactly what they say, you're going to lose X number of pounds in X number of days. And they tell you it's not a diet. And I'm sorry, but I'm just going to say bullshit. Saying the word bullshit. It's a diet. You're supposed to have as many calories as a toddler needs to live you, a grown adult, as many calories as a toddler. Yeah, because they want you to starve yourself. That's success because you will lose X number of pounds. But as I said to one of my tearful clients last week, who said to me, I just don't get it why I've been on every diet. I keep doing it. I lose weight. I lose weight. I'm successful. I lose weight. But I gain it back and then I gain even more. Well, yes, because your body is brilliant. Your body is just trying to keep you alive. That's what happens when you restrict your calories. Your body just doesn't like it. It rebels and it seeks out food and it holds on to body fat and you gain back even more weight than you did before you were worried and upset about your body weight, you gain back even more. So why bother? How about instead, let's focus on things that you have some control over, which is taking care of your body in your here and now, right this body right here today, you can take care of it and how can you do that? You can set goals that have nothing to do with weight loss because weight loss is not a behavior. You can work on behaviors that are within your power and your control. Things like moving. I'm setting a goal for this year. I have found, refound my love of movement and I'm setting a goal for myself to exercise more than I was this past year. I'm adding a strength training day and I'm going to push my cardio up a little bit. That's my goal. And that's a goal that I know is within my control. I can meet it. I can, I can not meet it, whatever it is, but I know that it's within the realm of possibility. Going on a diet and losing weight is not. So how about you pick one goal, one thing that you know is actually good for your body, something that you know you can do, whether it be drinking more water. Maybe it's having more fruits and vegetables. Maybe it's making an appointment to go to the doctor. Maybe it's committing to calling a friend every single day during the week when you feel lonely. Something tangible that you know you actually can accomplish that feels good. We call them smart goals. Think about what you can do setting a goal that is reasonable for yourself. For me, I'm saying it here. I'm committing that my goal is going to be adding another strength training day. I've been doing two. I'm going to add three just because it feels really good to move my body. I really like it. And I'd love to know what are your goals? And while you're at it, I'm celebrating my mother's COVID vaccine and I have a few more spots in my online intuitive eating essentials course. We have our first call this coming Thursday night. Sign up before Thursday night and you will have access to group calls. Otherwise, you'll miss out on something really valuable. We have a fantastic group of women supporting one another because you know what? It takes community to embrace a different way of being in our bodies. It takes community to swim upstream which means we're not dieting. We're challenging the narrative that we're supposed to be one size only. We're challenging the narrative that says that women need to be small. We're challenging the narrative that says that there's anything wrong with our bodies just as they are. I challenge that and I want you to challenge it too. So come join me, come join me online intuitive eating essentials course and you can join our group. It starts this Thursday night. Okay, everybody. Happy, happy new year.